Hey there. So we're going to do this little mini episode in between every few episodes to just, you know, update ourselves on the catalog and see how everything's going along. And we're going to have a, a little little screen somewhere with uh, our other screen that we're going to be pointing at right now. Just going over all the Messier uh, ob objects that we've um, completed so far and even before any of the episodes of Galactic Hunter. First uh, mini episode, we're gonna go over the the Mister catalog. So for episode two, at the beginning of the episode two, we I made like a table and I s slid um, M101 towards the M101 spot, but everything else was empty, right? So <clears throat> I want to update the, uh, the catalog itself, the whole table, because I did some um, targets in the past. So it's better if we don't like do the same targets twice. So the first one, I want to explain. That one was uh, the Crab Nebula. I'll open it right here. And um, and this particular one, we didn't get it very well. Um, honestly, it was really difficult. I don't recall what the weather conditions were that day. I know I definitely fell asleep because uh, I do that very often. I think the problem with this one was we. We met a friend, and he he happened to have those uh, headlamps that are red, which is very very good because red is really good for the to keep our night vision. And we were wearing the the red headlamps and looking around. And when I got home, I was so mad because all my pictures almost were all red. And I think the red headlamp like um, reached the, uh, the mirror or the telescope, and that's why everything was red. So, um, so that was very, very annoying. But I think we went back the next couple of days to redo it, and that's how it turned out to be. So it's pretty good. Um, next, uh, so that's M1, so this is filled out. Uh, next would be M13, which is a cluster. Uh, most, of, most famous cluster in the North uh, Hemisphere. Um, that one? had an unsuccessful beginning and uh, we had to go back and complete it. We did uh, 30 minutes the first time and then two hours the second time and that one came out a lot better, a little more crisp. I'm going to show you the uh, 30 minute one, so that's 30 minutes right here, and then this one which is two hour long. This is the difference, and as you can see in this one you can also see a galaxy here on the left, uh, right here. Okay, so that's M13, up, oh, check. Um, M16, which is the Eagle Nebula, and also the Pillars of Creation. That was four full hours. So you can see, like, look at here, that's the Pillars of Creation. And um, right here, you can see a beak of an eagle, kind of, and two huge um, wings, like that. And that's how, that's why it's called the Eagle Nebula. And um, that was my very, 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 very most. Um, that was the one that he wanted to capture the most. The most that, yeah. yeah, that's the one that kind of set the whole Galactic Hunter into fruition. Because there's a real pillars of creation from Hubble's are pretty. Okay, so that's M16, okay? Um, so that's also done. Now, next would be. M42. M42, everyone loves this one the most. And um, I'm very, very proud of this one. It was our like, third target, I think. It also happens to be my phone case. So yeah, that's also a phone case. This is available on the website as well. You can purchase it. I love this one. I have the iPhone 5S uh, tough case. It's like a snap and then it has like a rubber inside. It's really, really good. I've dropped it already and I was sad about it, but so far so good. No scratches, no nothing. Yeah, mine sucks. Anyway, <laughs> so in this one there is M42 here. And this is the running mandibular right there. It's called the running man because here is a head of a 
guy, kind of. That's the left arm, right arm, and two legs, like he's running. And um, in this one, there's also M43, which is right here. M43, which is actually on the left of M42. Um, right here, that's M43. And I believe it's called De Marin's Nebula, some guy's name. Uh, so here's M42 and M43, which, has, uh, which are also checked on the catalog. Uh, so next will be this is one. the Pleiades, Pleiades M45. Mm -hmm. That's Pleiades. It's probably one of the other more crisp pictures Antoine has taken. Super duper pretty. It looks really amazing. And these are also known as the Seven oh. Sisters. Oh, it's a matter of fact. <laughs> That's the Pleiades name. Anyway, um, this one was good, but I want to read it again like in the about six months or maybe three months because that was my very very first target with my telescope except for the horse head nebula which is not in the catalog uh, but um this one was a huge fail at first because i left i was a noob okay so i left my cap on the guiding scope so the guiding scope is supposed to track uh, to track one star so if you can't see the stars and you can't fucking track it you can't <laughs> track it so for two hours out of the four hours that I planned, so it was two hours untracked, and that was ruined. So that was only two hours long. Okay. Um, Next one's in, uh, M51. Oh, oh yeah. It's the Pinwheel Galaxy. No. Whirlpool Galaxy? Yes. There you go, sorry. So it's two galaxies together, one's pretty much eating the other one. If you can see they collided in the past, and um, it's just the big one is like yeah, completely eating the second one. It's pretty crazy because it's so far that right now, if we saw it right now, it would be like probably just one galaxy now. It would look completely different. And there's like two tiny ones over there in the background. Anyway, um, so that's M51, also checked. Now, um, this was our episode two, right? Yeah. Yes. Episode 2 is the Ring Nebula. This one, we might also do over again. Um, I'll do it over when I have a, C uh, a CCD camera. Because with a DSLR, it's pretty hard. Yeah, I mean, it's still pretty impressive for, you know, capturing it regardless. Yeah, the problem is it's just, it's very, very tiny and we do this in like which months? Ooh, that was it like was in May. June, no? I forgot. It was in May. May or June, yeah. And um, the problem is in May or whatever it was, in between like 8 pm and 12, that's the only interesting thing. That's it. Almost. Like that's the only, uh, that's the only messier object that's interesting. So it's super tiny and I was kind of sad to have it as a second episode. But you know, as this is done. There will be more. Yep. Uh, next is... M78. This one was taken before Antoine got his really big equipment. It was just with his binoculars and his Canon no. camera, right? No? No binoculars, just a tripod. Oh, okay. The tracking? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. That was, yeah, that was special. I plan to do M78 with my telescope soon, well, in winter. But as you can see, this is like a wide field from my, uh, just my camera, which is filming right now. And it's called Barnard's Loop, and there's Orion Nebula here, there's a horse head here, the witch head here, and M78, which is... It should be here somewhere. Oh, here, yeah, that's M78, it's super tiny. Uh, next is going to be... The series of three. That was, Those three, 95, 96, and 105, were all captured all in the same shot. So if we pull that up, we'll point out where those are exactly. That takes a little bit. There you go. So that's from my telescope. Uh, so it's already super, super zoomed. Um, so there's like eight galaxies in this. One, two, three, four, five. And then three more, super hard to find over here. Six. I know there's one somewhere else in the middle. It's kind of hard because it's not like zoomed in right now, but... Uh, there's eight in this one. I counted. Uh, anyway, 
and so there's three messier objects. So there's like three easy checks on the on the catalog. And that's called the M95 group. Okay. And last one uh, right now is one of my favorites. Um, this Synthagram telescope is M101, which means a lot because it was our first episode. And it turned out pretty good, even though we did like two hours, I think, only. Yeah. Oh, that's the one you fell asleep in the trunk. I fell asleep in the trunk. Yeah. Like 90% of the time. It's a really hot, really late, there's no cell phone reception where we are. Again, I think we discussed that in the second episode. Again, if you guys plan on going out to do like any astrophotography, like be aware of your environment. Because I mean, we live in the desert, we live in Las Vegas, we know how to survive out here. But if you're going to go out venture into crazy places, you need to definitely be prepared. Um, so for episode 3, it's going to be Saturn. I'm kind of running behind the timeline I was uh, hoping for because I'm trying to find someone that has never seen Saturn to have his reaction. It's been a little rough as well weather-wise because there's uh, monsoon season usually happens around July, August here in Nevada and yeah we've been hit with a lot of uh, storm clouds, thunderstorms and then the recent fire in California a lot of that has blown our direction so we can't get a clear picture so we can't take people out there if you can't take clear pictures. So we'll have a uh, Saturn uh, right here next uh, but um before I release uh, episode 3 I will be done with two more targets uh, as a moment uh, with two more targets for sure in this catalog which you will see um, whenever you go on the website if you want to see which is going to be M31 that we took yesterday and um, the day before that, we took M8, which is right here. And um, M8 is actually very pretty. I'm doing it right now. Uh, I'm going to show you a very quick um, editing view. That's the single shot, full of noise, as you can see. It's ugly, but at the same time, it's super pretty. And right now, I was just doing the editing, and that's what it looks like right now. So it's still kind of uh, not done, but um, it's Work getting in progress. Done. Yes. All right. So we're trying to keep it short um, for the mini videos. But also, if you guys have any other questions for another short video, we can do. Uh, most likely, the next one is going to be explaining our equipment. But if you want to toss us a few questions. Definitely feel free to do that on the website or even on the YouTube channel. And again, that is galactichunter.com. You wouldn't be here unless you knew that. Alright, so... Yep. Uh, check this week if you want to see M31, which is a huge galaxy, Andromeda. Which actually... Because uh, we did a few shots yesterday, but I want to do more. So we might do M31 as an episode 4, I think. Because it will be very, very interesting to do um, our closest galaxy. For episode four, so we'll probably do it as, uh, as episode four. So um, come check out M8 and M31 this week on the website. And episode four, uh, episode three for Saturn will come like in a few days. Very uh, no. soon. I mean, very soon. Uh, whenever I can find someone who can uh, come with us. Okay, um, that's it. So thank you, and let us know if you have any questions. Or any ideas for the future. And uh, yep. Bye. Bye.